What's up, everybody? It's Joe Lapuma. You were listening. You were watching the Complex Sneaker Show. As always, I'm joined by my two friends, my two co-hosts. To my right, Mr. Matt Welty. Here we are. Double bracelets today. I always wear double bracelets. Oh, is that right? I didn't. I thought I it was didn't. only one. Maybe because yeah. you have long sleeves on. He got his hat. He has the. You talk about me with the endless summer. He has his little surfer haircut. Look at, yeah. look at with the little <laughs> wings. I used to call him wings when I had the yeah. long hair back in the day. Okay. I need to get a haircut. Like this. I, I need to get a haircut. Okay. Do you hit the, the shock? Yeah, you hitting Robert Moses after with your little. What's, okay. Save your shockers for next week's episode. What's that? It's a little preview. Robert Moses. Yeah. It's Robert a beach. Moses State Park. You look like a little sand. surfer. Oh. Bam, bam, a piggy trying to put my fam in the can. There he goes. You didn't see him yet, but you may have heard him. To my left, Mr. Brendan Dunn. Hi, what's up? Is that a Uniglo tea? Always. Because your boy re-upped. I went to Uniglo. <laughs> Uniglo, you in stores now. This isn't an ad. He put me on. Let's go. They didn't have the ones that I want, but yeah, I will okay. give. Do you call it, you call it Uniglo? <laughs> he kind of did. Uniglo. Was oh, that my accent? <laughs> yeah, me, uh, well, I don't know. It's my accent. <laughs> um, I know it was St. Patrick's Day yesterday, but I'm Italian. Sometimes I say things and... Man, St. Patrick's Day was Uniglo hellish in the city. Uniglo Sorry. We're not getting into that. Uniglo <laughs> U-Airism tea. Did you try mm, that one? No, I skipped that one. Oh, you got to try it. I Airism. I like straight cotton. Okay. But it's I re techie. You should try it, though. I knew that was a Uniglo. Why can't we talk about St. Patrick's Day? Uh, pass. <laughs> all right. All right. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all who celebrated. <laughs> you just, you just skip this over. Guy. Yeah, okay. Okay, buddy. Oh, yeah. you did you celebrate? What I mean, no, but I'm quite Irish. Oh, don't you, you don't you have a uh... corned beef and cabbage? You didn't invite the lads over yesterday. <laughs> no, we didn't. Also, uh, Ramadan Mubarak to all who celebrate. Uh, of course, should have should have given that PSA in last week's episode. But of course, to yeah. But St. Patrick's Day in the city is always a hellish event, and it was tied with the New York City Half Marathon. Yes, didn't run. Did not run, never have ran. <laughs> I met my, I met myself, not you. No, I I, oh. I know. I was saying I didn't run either. <laughs> okay, yeah, Wait, did how many half marathons have you done? Um, I've only officially done one half marathon, but I've ran thirteen <laughs> miles yeah. like a million times. That doesn't count though. I I know. I'm just just so people know my level of fitness. Yeah, but that's a different that's a different, yes, of course. You know, it's I, it, hey, have you ever done the Tour de France? No, but I've biked fifty miles before. Not the same. <laughs> Not the same, but I see what you're saying. Big up Russ Bankson. Yes. <laughs> on his bike 50 miles every day, it seems like. Yes, with the little um, the little uh, squirrel. The squirrel. Yeah, yeah. always. Squirrel. Common content, baby. <laughs> Today, obviously, we have Kermit Frost. Yes. Fresh off the McDonald's collaboration, not only did he get a happy meal, clothes, a footwear clog. going to talk to him about that monumental collaboration yeah the nuggets gonna bring, do you think he's gonna bring a shamrock shake for you brendan <laughs> well he convinced me to go get the raisin canes green lemonade the shamrock <laughs> lemonade. there we go oh uh, what else oh i i want to talk about some super sneaker insidery nerdy stuff as i always do some complaining about how other outlets are covering sneakers this is this stuff doesn't matter in the grand scheme but what does matter some adidas earnings news yes easy taylor swift and we're going to talk about if gatekeeping and sneakers is a real thing. <laughs> oh, of oh, always exciting. Yep. And the new mischief boot. Yes. Oh, you know who did run the half marathon? Lil Nas X in the. Dude. How did he do that? He did had... he finish it? Okay, so there was a photo of Lil Nas X. It looked like he was at the finish line of the New York City half. He had on the coach sneakers. High tops, yeah. Actual luxury designer shoes to Wait. run a half marathon in. Are coach sneakers actually considered luxury designer? Not 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 no. enough. No. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Pardon me. Pardon me. What a feat. Did not he... good for your feet, but no. it is a feat. No, that had to hurt. But yeah, saw that. I love this. I mean, look. I don't know how much of a troll moment it was. Lil Nas X is a top tier troll, and maybe this was just another bid for attention. But I respect it. It's funny, and it's actually difficult to do. Has to be. Has to be. I feel like it's a handicap for a race like that. Definitely. You can you can subtract twenty minutes off your time or something. Also. Uh, I think Gerald Flores ran it. Shouts to Gerald Flores. Yep. Victor Dang ran it. I, oh, sorry, shouts to Victor. A, a lot of my friends in the running community ran it, but we're not going to run down every single well, name. We don't have enough time for OMRC that. OMRC out here heavy, you know what it is. Of course. Actually, last week I was I was doing a bit of running around, if not officially for the half marathon. I ran down to Thurgood Marshall of course Courthouse. He did. Hold on, <laughs> zoom in. He went like this. Oh, there. Oh, I see that there's um a case that I'm interested in. Let me go down to the courts. He put on his little he had, supreme yeah. suit. No, 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 with no, no. A clip on tie. He had a khaki blazer. Clip on tie. Okay. This is all a lie. This is on. all a go lie. Clip on tie. 
then hold on looking like humphrey had, bogart exactly <laughs> uh, with with a little fedora like dick tracy is, okay that's not true that's, okay and that's, then he had his little pocket protector pocket protector <laughs> recorder with the down pen and just yeah and and he was documenting bape nike yeah nike suit what happened bape. any any so, can i correct the record so I was actually wearing a jound fit. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm I'm mad wealthy didn't yeah, notice the it. The jound to the jury. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, this was at the courthouse downtown. This is for the initial pretrial conference for Nike suing Bape over the Bapes of sneakers, something I've been obsessed with. A lawsuit with a lot of history behind it, 20 plus years of Nike looking sneakers and the Bapes says, this wasn't a that interesting of a, an event at the courthouse, but I wanted to go because I like to go to these things and I like to keep an eye on what's happening. And Bape's lawyer did say that they're, quote, remarkably close to settling this. Okay. Nike's lawyers were like, oh, we wouldn't say we're remarkably close, but they have been talking settlement, but nothing new on that really just yet. Oh, it, it was a poetic moment, I'll say, when I stepped out of the courthouse and literally right there on the sidewalk as I left. And this is a, a case, again, that has a, a lot of background, a lot of precedent when it comes to Nike attacking people over bootleg shoes that look like Nikes, especially Air Force Ones. Right when I stepped outside of the courthouse, I looked down and there's an empty pack of Newports there on the sidewalk. Oh. Just just a just a beautiful uh, little asterisk on the day. Some character, right? You know in what the I streets. mean? Especially in reference to Ari's menthol bootlegs. Yeah. It's, a little, it just felt like the universe had ordained is, it. Is we this, call it irony, right? Uh, what, that's the wrong term? What is it? Can we, what would it be? Tell me. You're the wordsmith. Sure, we'll use irony. Okay. We'll call it, we'll call it ironic. Can't pronounce Uniglo correctly. <laughs> irony is wrong. We're six minutes in. How many more? Is it, is it's this, Monday. I'm a little rusty. Oh. Is, is this like your version if like, if I were to get super excited seeing that there's like a PBR rodeo or a George Strait concert coming up that <laughs> you see that there's a, there's a <laughs> sneaker court case in New York City that you can attend. You're like, oh, I'm going to that one. Oh, it's his SantaCon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I enjoyed myself. <laughs> that a boy. Mischief. Yes. Some housekeeping. They have a new boot coming out. Mm -hmm. Take off of. Can we say it? Are we legally allowed to say it? We'll you noticed say it. in the in the episode. Go for I, it. I I uh, da yeah. danced around it a little. The bit. The latest mischief yeah. shoe is based on yeah. the iconic Timberland six inch boot. Spike Lee was in the campaign. His daughter shot the campaign photos. Spike. We didn't hear from Spike though about how he felt about being in the campaign. Yes, we did. Monday's episode, <laughs> today's episode of Sneaker Shopping. But what I will say about Mischief, you saw a lot of people posting them, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of like people in the industry posting them. It seems like they know how to break through. They know how to They've disrupt. They've done it again, question mark? Did Wealthy? they do it again? No, no. <laughs> no? No. no. Death? Do you have a hole in the back of your socks? Taxes? Yes. Yeah, I do. And Wealthy hating on Mischief. Yeah, but uh, I do. I have a hole. You know why? Pulled the sock uh, too, too mm, uh, furiously. You need a new new set of Uniqlo's. I know. I mean, I genuinely think that that's more interesting than talking about. You know, oh, you're such I a mean, hater. About <laughs> you're such no, a you think the the hole you're in Joel Puma's sock is more interesting yes. than the? <laughs> you can't a, even yeah. you can't even say it with a straight face. No, I, more I, interesting just, than the no, latest mission. No, it's funny because shoot. I genuinely just like, you don't you don't appreciate their disruption at all. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think <laughs> care about them at anything. I think that. In, not to go on like an angry, wealthy rant or whatever. I just think that, hey, you know, look, you can go watch the Mischief episode to see how I feel about them. And yes, I think, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I think that, you know, it's what they did is just like intentionally like mock Christianity. Mm. And, oh, oh. And I think that if they did that to like any other religion, like mm. openly, I just think that there would be a lot more like backlash mm. behind it. And it's the other thing that doesn't even get brought up that I think is even more egregious, because people talk about the Satan shoes. Yeah. People don't realize that mischief- This does get brought up, because you brought it up to me at least three times in the no, past but we, month, no, but... no, okay, I brought it up, but no one else brings it up, because yeah. it got like swept under the rug, and people didn't realize it. Like, around the same time they made the Satan shoes, they actually made an alcoholic seltzer made out of holy water. So it's like, if you're just trying to say, they're like, oh, you know, uh, it, it's just our response to a, a joke on Christianity, mm. and then like when you clearly make an alcoholic drink out of holy water. It's just like clear that they're like mocking people. So yeah. it's like, I just don't oh. appreciate mischief on any like that. And I'm not here to like get angry and say, screw you. Da, da, yeah, da, yeah. Da. You can go watch the yeah, yeah. the podcast. For, the but I just like, don't, I just don't appreciate them as a company. So it's just like, I'm not going to be like, Hey, the footwear. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I, like I came, it. I came, I was obviously talking about the boots, but 
yeah, totally un understand your your take. But uh, okay, what else? As promised, I was up early last week. See, <laughs> yes, he was four a.m. One day I'm at the courthouse. Look at look Next, at him. I, I barely go to sleep. Doing the I'm whole. Up. The whole industry Olympics <laughs> last week. Okay. Wait, do we say the nerd Olympics a little bit? What? No. Oh, really? Working I mean, hard? No, nerd in a, in like a sneak, oh, like oh, yeah, nerding okay. out. That's a okay. term of endearment. 4 a.m., the courthouse. Okay. It's not all just press trips and, and, uh, Lacing up new sneakers. This guy was <laughs> promo up posts on IG. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I woke up early for the Adidas uh, full year report, their their earnings call last week. This was a funny one. I don't think this really means anything, but Adidas CEO Bjorn Golden was on there talking about how he would love to sign Taylor Swift and how he noticed that Taylor Swift had been wearing Adidas recently, and people were saying you should sign Taylor Swift, and he'd say, I'd love to, I, I just don't know how. Yeah, back I don't up think, the Brinks truck. Yeah, I don't think this is any indication that Adidas is actually pursuing Taylor Swift. In fact, if Adidas were pursuing Taylor Swift, they wouldn't be saying I, anything about it, it publicly. It's kind of crazy it's because the first time that I had heard about Taylor Swift wearing Adidas mm -hmm. was through that comment. I think like no one had really been paying attention to it. Like Maybe I'm biased because I like New Balance, but yeah. it felt like Taylor wearing New Balance was just such a bigger moment, but I it was agree. also in the center of the whole Travis Kelsey, Kansas yeah, City Chiefs. Yeah, it had Chiefs. that added element of pop like, culture to it. And I think after that happened too, I think collectively as a culture, everyone was just kind of like a little tailored out. Mm -hmm. So maybe this, if this happens after the Super Bowl, everyone's not really like, okay, enough, yeah. enough Taylor Swift for the moment. But I totally agree with you when he said on the call, oh, we've noticed that she's been wearing Adidas. I was like, has she been wearing Adidas? And I Googled it, and Taylor Swift is the kind of person who people chronicle every single item that she wears. So mm -hmm, there yeah. are a few scattered news posts about her wearing superstars or her wearing another model. But it didn't really feel like a big thing, and it felt like they were enlarging it more more than it Just was. Just to get her name life. in there to like try and make something viral. Like, yeah, and you know, it's like hey, they write their it's like they write their own YouTube comments like, hey, someone was saying this in the comments, and it's <laughs> hey, like, I took it for the headline. I grabbed it for the headline. I was excited. I'm not mad at that. It's like Gorn Bolden. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. He's saying that's the what the burner, that's, yeah. the burner yeah. account, Bjorn Golden's <laughs> burner account. <laughs> Bjorn Golden, please tap in. We know you've been on some other podcasts. We'd love to have you on this here podcast. More material in the Adidas earnings call was him responding to more Yeezy questions. This was one of the more awkward moments when we saw him posing with Kanye West, yay, as he's now known, mm -hmm. in a photo right after the Super Bowl. And when that image popped up, a lot of people were speculating, yeah. could yes. Adidas and Yeezy be getting back together? Is this some sort of test to see how the public would receive a bring back of the Yeezy line? Bjorn Golden said at Adidas, no, this was not that. I ran into him at an airport. He has to take the photo. I took the photo. That's it. There was no business discussion. This doesn't mean anything Should more than that. Should you hit him with the no photos? Like, I mean, listen, I, I understand it. If you're Bjorn Golden and you run into Ye at an airport and he asks you to take a photo, it's going to be more of an issue if you say no yeah, than it he, is if you say yes. He doesn't want the backlash. Of... Yeah, exactly. But like, yeah, he, he said that that didn't mean anything. He's like, you guys are making up stories about this. So d don't anticipate, at least according to him more Yeezys, although, of course, we're going to keep seeing them selling them off and donating, but said it wasn't pre-planned. Yes. And then I went back to sleep after the earnings call. Yeah, what else we got? We have to make a little correction from last week. Yeah. Oh, of course, Abdul, should I, should early in the bags? morning, taking his, <laughs> huh? You guys finally got what you wanted. I'm off the show. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I got... Wealthy's saying that he's, he's going to be forced to resign because of this yeah, massive error. I got error. something wrong. Yeah. yeah, our boy Abdul running to the monument mm -hmm. in the morning. Sending notes, we appreciate it. <laughs> we, there was a flub last week. Actually, Zach mentioned this to me as well. But oh. wealthy, please, please correct the record. I made the huge mistake <laughs> of saying that <laughs> such contrition. The yeah. Air Jordan Four retroed in 1994, and it didn't. It was the Air Jordan Three. It was the Air Jordan Three. The Air Jordan Four retroed in 1999. Sorry, everyone. I got something wrong. But hey, it was it is ironic because it was It's been a good run. You got to go. <laughs> He's though. shaking his hand. He right. has to go. Everyone, <laughs> stage left. We love you. It's Jeez. been fun. Yeah. Please exit quietly. But It was ironic because it happened during a conversation about being true to the originals and Jordan Brand getting things right. But one thing I did notice about the episode, people really 
kind of gravitated to the talk of like the new preview shoes coming out yeah. and like we do that we we mm -hmm. sprinkle that in here and there but like is that yeah. more the more of what you guys want to see let us know in the comments basically taking a big release that's upcoming and yeah. kind of dissecting or or the whole jordan line so uh yeah, yeah we don't i always, was pretty we don't surprised always do that like go yeah. through just just 20 upcoming sneakers and give our reactions but if y'all like that we're happy to do it one really tiny housekeeping shouts to AirPod Jordan, who actually put the Dreams and Nightmares behind. Oh, that was funny. Oh, like, I, I missed that. Yeah, it's on Twitter. He actually put the Dreams and Nightmares behind my little rant, so uh, appreciate that. <laughs> I need that. to see that clip. Yeah, it was, okay, yeah okay. it's good. Can we, can we do a little bit of hating? I, again, I know- It's the haters ball. <laughs> no, uh, we've been accused of this a lot. I do feel like a certain amount of gatekeeping is correct to do. Let's and, hear and what? We were chatting this weekend about the feature in GQ about which Batman actor, oh, yeah. which rating the sneakerhead levels of various actors who've portrayed Batman over the years. The only- The most unnecessary okay. piece of content I've ever seen okay. in my life. The GQ, only thing please I'm stop writing about sneakers, Joe. The only thing I'm gonna say about it, <laughs> Yeah, I'll let you two go in, but- You ready, Walter? <laughs> my boy went to the West Coast to do a full story on- The mm -hmm. shoes. Michael the Keaton. Michael Keaton's Batman Sixes, right? Yeah. Six boot. Yep. Where did you go? What what place was that? Do you remember? <sighs> Some distant suburb of LA. Yeah, but it was like a costume a movie costume design place. Yeah, prop prop company that but auctions also, off rare pieces of Hollywood history. Very you, interesting story. You getting that story is cool because you got the actual story. Thank you. you. Know what I, I talked to Tinker Hatfield yes. about it. I'm saying you getting that story is actually cool because you got the actual story, but like being a sneaker blog and just being like, hey, did you know that Michael Keaton wore Air Jordan Sixes as Batman? It's like, yes. Everybody who's remotely into sneakers well, knows this. I've yeah. seen that shoe 10,000 times. The issue is they said it was an 11. Okay. Yeah, GQ. That, GQ. I'm not. Do you think, do you, but do you think not to, I guess to play devil's advocate a little bit, do you think that they're like a newbie to like the Roman numeral game and kind of like maybe just mixed up? Because uh, six and 11. Are, are close in Roman numerals. Yeah, it's yeah. a V and an X. I don't know. I mean, difference. I think they. I think they mixed up the. No, I'll tell you what though. They love the and and we get it. I've done it. I always say we've done it. We we fish where the fish are. They love that Ben Ben Affleck pops out in anything. <laughs> they love it because it rates and and I get it. Uh, if you want the definitive Ben Affleck sneaker history, we mm -hmm. do have an episode yeah, of Ben we actually, Affleck. We actually interviewed Chris this, is a whole, yeah. this is a whole thing where it's like, if you saw anything <laughs> sneaker related on GQ, go to Complex no, for the no. real story. <laughs> no, I'm not, you know. Well, the, remember the New guys. Balance list? Never forget the New Balance oh, list yeah. they did. Don't that, get him started. <laughs> I'm not. I'm actually not in a... No, I'm doing this. This is on yeah. me. This is not wealthy. Don't, don't, not don't, don't create that I narrative. I do think it's funny, though, because you said the word gatekeeping, and I was actually yeah. thinking about this yesterday, and it was... It's just funny to me because, and this is gonna sound like an old head thing, but yes. the, no, but it's just like the word gatekeeping, mm -hmm. it, I guess in general, but when it comes to sneaker culture in specific, it just, it never existed. Like the, the terminology. Yeah. Like I just remember back in the day being into shoes, being on Nike talk, and when, when people would talk about things, how they were back in the day, yeah. I never heard anyone say, stop gatekeeping. Yes, you're right. I don't want to hear this. I agree with you. And it's just interesting to me because it feels like much of a new phenomenon. Yes. And I would have kind to say that, thing. I would say that gatekeeping is very much a Gen Z thing. Cause I don't see anyone. Or, or the accusation. Of yes. It. Yeah. I don't see anyone that's more so in our age bracket calling someone a gatekeeper. Mm -hmm. I just get the sense that, and like, okay. I get that maybe we could be sometimes like less fire and brimstone when you sure. come to sneaker opinions you don't like. Sure. But also I, reference? I do think mm -hmm. that a younger generation, if they want to participate in this whole sneaker thing, needs to be more receptive to what happened in sneaker culture beforehand and maybe take things with a grain of salt that you don't always know everything. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you don't know something, don't call the person who's departing the knowledge to you a gatekeeper just be like oh man i didn't know that thanks yeah. you know instead of just like shutting it down and like instead of it's almost like not not that you're getting called out for not knowing something but you're made to feel like less you're most feel like inferior within a conversation because yeah. you don't have the nugget of knowledge yeah but we, to, we've but, definitely but, done that to people before yeah, i've definitely done that to people before but you, no, i'm saying but it's to, both sides but, you I'm know. but i'm saying people to shield themselves from any sort of yeah, crit yeah, yeah. criticism they just throw up the gatekeeper word i know what you mean and on the other side criticizing in a way that i get it 
is less helpful and more kind of deliberate hating, but what the. Um, what is this? The confetti? This is the confetti from the, the full size one that. finale. A piece of confetti just floated down mm. from the rafters, and it must have been yeah from the last episode of Full would Size Run ever, we ever did. Yeah, would you ever be open to a youth mentorship sneaker program? <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, that'd be fun. I think we have license to do it, but we're super duper nitpicking here, like one line in, yeah. in a GQ mm -hmm. story or things like that. But but we do like to pay attention to how sneaker information is presented on the internet. And I do think this was a silly story. People people are always going to criticize the sneaker content we put out. But man, if you look at some of the other outlets out there and the stuff that they make, sneaker outlets and non-sneaker outlets, it's like, what what is the value of giving Adam West a 5.9 sneaker head rating? Who needed that in the world? <laughs> Again, okay. I know, There's this mad is super... shit that we've done, though, that you could say that <laughs> yes. back in the day. And probably, like you just said, yes. and still. But who'd they fry? They fried my man Christian Bale. Would they give him a 6-1 <laughs> or something? <laughs> Should we do a whole episode, like, arguing and, and redrafting the sneakerhead ratings of the various actors who've played Batman over who the years? Who got the highest? I, it had to have been Ben Affleck. There we go. You know, with his mighty, mighty... Rare, rarest of the rare era. My SB boy dunks. pulled up to sneaker shopping with the Travis how Air many, Force how One. Many air, how many air uh, Nike SBs did you see on St. Patrick's Day? None. I didn't leave. Be disappointed. Nobody came out with the proper footwear. No, I I turn my other way when I see all those revelers. It's too much for me. Are there any other Irish themed shoes over the years that you kind of? like or that kind of like yeah what i will say is like what, really you're great, not gonna let the great, irish guy answer no but yeah go he, ahead he, yeah what i will say is he he has put me on to some <laughs> in recent weeks for um some tidbits right here and there yeah we'll, we'll talk more about that later okay. but we'll talk more we about will. That he knows but what i'm saying i'm not even are, looking at him he knows what i'm are there at, though. are there well obviously though there's one that comes to mind that i think hope hopefully that you can what the air force one no what that's the one that i thought which pair yeah black and tan dunks no it's probably, I would say, the most noteworthy Irish I feel like the shoe of all time. No, uh, calling me out here. Is it an all green dunk? No. Um, the patent leather Air Force One. No, that's that's nope. what I thought he was talking Saint about. Patrick's nope. Saint Patty. <laughs> okay, uh, can I get a hint? Uh, uh, it's not play a Nike, along. It's not a listening. Nike shoe. Oh, the Adidas Dublin. Is yes. that what you're saying? But is that an actual? St. Patrick's Day sneaker, or is just like named after I, Dublin? But I said Irish themed shoes. Okay, Dave okay, Matthews fair enough. is chiming in on Slack. Adidas House of Pains. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a nice one too. Yeah, don't Th sleep on my guy. Those are great shoes, but also just like those were like super limited when they came out. So yeah, it's not a shoe that Adidas Dublin though. No. Yeah, and then a, shoe, a pair did drop for St. Patrick's Day. Perfect. Wow. Yep. Perfect. A little bit of celebration yesterday. Celebration today because oh yeah, Ker Kerwin's here. Kerwin's here, our friend. I haven't friend. seen Kerwin in a while. I'm, I'm always a pleasure to talk to. Yes. Absolutely. Our guest on today's episode is a full-service creative. He's hosted his own video series, he's DJed some of your favorite events, and he's also created some of the most left-of-center clothing and sneakers with Adidas in recent years. On top of all that, he recently landed an amazing McDonald's deal that included everything from a clog to his own Happy Meal. Here to talk his many special projects, past and present, please welcome our friend, Kerwin Frost. Thank you. Thank you for having me, guys. What's Took up, him dude? through the office. The energy is up, even on a Monday. Yep. That's just it's just constant energy, immediate energy Infectious. from this guy. Showed, Infectious. There we his, go. You showed him his new desk. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like seen you, a, you'll maybe be sitting seen here a lot more of him. <laughs> maybe seen a lot more of him. <laughs> you'll be seeing a lot more of me, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome though. Happy to have you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. I love this show. I love the new layout. Thank you. Thanks. He's it's great. you know how I know he really loves it. He's been saying love the new set. He noticed the chairs, noticed yeah, everything. Yeah. The Tapped rug, in. you know, yeah. the rug. I tend to like Rick James it a little bit. Yeah. But even the rug, it's love nice. The rug. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a on a? I saw one that looked green. Did you guys change it? That was a one and done. Right. Right. It was a one and really done. I like that. In. I like that. You Did can you? you can watch a show. Huh? Oh yeah. And you can see the changes live. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Then before you guys had that up, uh, you guys had like full office desk. Yeah. yeah. It yes. was so diplomatic. Yeah. That was interesting. Full office desk, just like we're gonna get you. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. You, know? you have a home oh. on the on the East Coast. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh boy. Have you ever, imagine this crew in the office like multiple times a week. <laughs> <laughs> have, you ever had, have you ever like come close to having a nine to five? Like, um, what's the closest you ever came? I worked at V Files. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. When I was like a teenager, that was as close. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that was pretty much that was like the closest. Yeah. My my dream job though, when I was coming, like the roof, the ceiling for me was uh, 
getting to like if I could ever work at the the counter at the babe store. Okay. Because I would get to play my own music. Yeah, you had and the playlist ready to, to go. Did you see the whole uh, literal fiasco? Which late, one? Lately, uh, when uh, <laughs> the whole uh, Kid Cudi and Lupe thing at the Bape store. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was ridiculous. I, lo no, I love those moments of like yeah. how streetwear history is I intertwined could picture with Kid things. I doing that too. Like just hiding. Like, <laughs> why are you hiding? Dude? You think Lupe had like a like a samurai sword or something? Was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the, in the, <laughs> in the swagger. Uh... Yeah. yeah. By the way, Lupe will be at Complex Con Hong Kong this week, where I will also be. Wow. He's heading out tomorrow. Yeah. I don't have, know you, if, have you been to Hong Kong? No, I've not. Wow. Looking forward to it, though. Have you been? I've never been to Hong Kong. Yeah. Though. What I'll, are you looking I'll forward to? I'll bring you back most? some treats. Yeah, please, please. Some uh, some uh, Verdi keychains. Yeah, things like that. I got the that passport. Nature. Thanks for sending me that. <laughs> uh, the Verdi passport. <laughs> oh, we got. Some... Wait, let's not lose track of things. Can we talk about the footwear we have yeah, on? Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Kerwin, what are you what are you wearing? I'm wearing my uh, first original silhouette. Yeah. These are uh, the Fry Guy sneakers I made with McDonald's. It could only be you. Well, this is true. Only you could do this. Thank you, thank you. These were really hard to make. How so? Um, what do you mean? Like, what was the process of making them? Yeah, or like what difficulties arose? Well, I think with Adidas, I always wanted to make like, I well, coming in, I wanted to make like the first shoe I wanted to make was kind of like this, like it was, it was almost a play off of the, the Ralph Simmons bunny boot. And then it yeah. was like a, it was more of like a, like how old ski boots used to have like that arc that go up. Mm -hmm. And it was like a kind of like a rubber boot. That was like the first thing I wanted to do. And then, but when I came in, it was, a uh, it was like the, it was a year of the superstar. Mm-hmm. And if you if you go to that time, there's like this like class photo, and it's like me, Jonah Hill, Ninja, the street. Why would they give Ninja a deal? He's sitting at a <laughs> Don't computer. Don't get started. Yeah. Well, you and Ninja squashed the computer. beef. Squashed That's the beef. one beef that you squashed. Ninja. <laughs> Adidas was trying things, okay. Yeah. And that's when I came in, and they were like, "Hey, okay, all right, do this, and eventually you will get your, you know, doesn't matter." I didn't mm -hmm. get to do that shoe, and with McDonald's, I worked with uh, my friend Charles Magnan. Uh, who had he he had wanted to start his own sneaker company and he had been working on it for two years and he had been telling me about it and it, it was you know when he had told me about it, it was before kind of like the alibaba version of like kids making like their own dunks mm -hmm. yeah. so even at the time i was like that's kind of unheard of like no one no one's gonna you know what i mean like it's just not a hard thing. to gain any support for yeah exactly exactly independent brand you, like that for, yes that's what i meant to say that's very exactly <laughs> um but he had he had constructed this team. It was almost like the Avengers. Of uh, he got he got some Adidas employees. Uh, he got Brian who worked on on my project, uh, a couple others, and it almost like like Nathan like a Nathan Fielder. It was like a mimicked like exact version of what it was to create a sneaker, which I mm -hmm. thought was really amazing. And the idea for the shoe, I mean, I had already had it on uh, my McDonald's character, mm -hmm. uh, but. It's so much more than that. When you're actually like making it real life, obviously, as you know, there was like so many tries at like trying to get the height right, yeah. trying to get them to still be light. Um, a big inspiration was uh, the Balenciaga Technic Technoclog. Okay. That shoe weighs a fucking ton. Mm. And Are these really heavy? No, no, these they're really light. You should. Uh... <laughs> He's about to bonk you over the head with it. No, no. Oh wait, wait, wow! Yeah. We... Super light. No, they're. they're we I'm very confident about super these. light. Do we need to reenact like the when we had Action Bronson on the show and Brendan had to. Try try on the <laughs> <laughs> yeah wow Supp yeah super yeah light. no so it was like trying to get the height right for the short kings so you know you get some some height in there and then that <laughs> that reflective applicant was probably the hardest part yeah um, let yes. me ask you going to see your shoe in Adidas on the shelves versus going to McDonald's and seeing your Happy Meal getting your Happy Meal what is that feeling like McDonald to me the Happy Meal we're old right we're old. I'll still almost order a Happy Meal just for like the packaging and no, you like won't. No, you a toy. That'd be like, sir, do, you, do you have a child not with you? The... You're you're a grown niece man. Niece and nephew. It's like, Obviously, he's like trying to show up to Chuck E. Cheese niece without a kid. No, right? no, no. Sir, but no, on, on, sir, are you not, here with a child? No, or? on Postmates when you can like <laughs> just for the vibes. Exactly for yeah. the vibes. What's it like having the Happy Meal in McDonald's locations though? It's insane. It's insane. Is that crazier almost than like having the Adidas on the shelf? Absolutely. Yeah. No, uh, with Adidas, it was, it was, it was tough. I mean, they, they, they were, they were great to work with. It was just, I think they were trying too many things at once. Mm -hmm. And so they weren't at fault. Like I had probably like five different teams, like for like one drop. Mm -hmm. And then like, you know, there was so much, it was during COVID when that came out, it was like, 
not really clear. Like we couldn't do physical, like in store things. It was like, you kind of had to like maybe find the sock list and then go see it. Yeah. So it didn't, it didn't hit as hard with McDonald's. It was like at every McDonald's and I had people like, Oh, okay. All right. Like, so like, which, and it's like, no, it's at every McDonald's Crazy. You can just, and that, that was insane. That, yeah, I went, I went to a bunch of McDonald's. I milked it to the bone. Where's the furthest <laughs> you went from your house? Like how far out t- did you go? Let me see. How many did you hit? Like probably like Vegas. Wow. There was like okay. one. I just went to like every McDonald's on the way to Vegas. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a great road trip. Yeah. Did, you, did you get? <laughs> with did, like the director of the campaign d- danced right. We just, we just got in the car. And we we're like, all right. Wow. Let's go. Did you get recognized within the McDonald's when you walked in? Dude, it's interesting because normally who they work with is like, you'll think of a Travis Scott yeah. or mm-hmm. like a, but with me, it's, you know, it, it, I'm not. N- not even on a humble it's like come on bro like you know not not everyone in the world's gonna know you so it was like they would be confused and they'd be like they they have like a picture <laughs> in the back they're like wait you're the, you're the guy like it would always be that moment or there would be like the best would be like excited employees who would dm me or i would see them at the store yeah and they would tell me like how excited they were about it That's and awesome. uh even more than the meal the the merch the 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 uniform yeah the uniform shirt uh, I really spent time on it and, and they like produced like a million of those crazy. It was like the most of any, you know, quantity of shirt I could ever make, but see Dude, and that you brought the employees. nuggets back. Yes. The, yes. The yeah, yeah. More importantly. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. No, this is every, every That's part of it is amazing. I, yeah. yeah. I love McDonald's. Speaking of back. Adidas. Yep. yep. Adidas. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I had to do it to him. This is true. This, this is, is true. the Kerwin Frost Benchmates. The Benchmates. Yeah. Wow. Busted them out for the first time today because we had you here. You're a sneaker. Yeah, I love this sneaker. I, I can't really pinpoint what it reminds me of in my right. childhood, but it's like a it's like a dream from 30 years ago. You know, some polygonal Super Nintendo it's lenticular odd them on you. I like stunt it. race Looks FX. Good. Did I do yeah. it right? Yeah. Do it. Business on top, party on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna <laughs> say. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> treat on doing? the bottom. Yeah, oh, no. Also the one of the one of the women in the lobby, she she never really says anything to me other than just like hi but right. she she stopped and i broke her neck and wow. she was like i like your shoes wow. and i was like thank you i like that thank you do That's they awesome. do they run big though because this is a nine and a half and now i'm having even more second thoughts about what sneaker size i really wear do they... right yeah i have the same problem i have like a wide foot yeah so i'll like i'll wear like a like a ten and a half to a 12 and a half no wow no you don't do that <laughs> no. big of a range yeah. no you, you didn't even yeah. say that with a straight face i swear <laughs> yeah, but he also like made like oversized shoes yeah so, i know, made you, the first oversized shoes you don't have guys. an issue wearing i did a big shoe stamp that it's stamped yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm doing cortez air max 95 Wait, have you worn I love shoes those. it's a work day double header for us comfortable in these this is what I went with oh uh, just going and clothing hoka collaboration oh. with who and and clothing and hoka and hoka oh okay yeah sure. you hit like trails no what's this shirt you're wearing it's just a crossfit t-shirt oh, nice. uh, but i feel like way too tall on these really i was walking in there when i felt something for the short kings yeah for the short kings I so will, wait, you said <laughs> i will i will say though so he got those and he said they're too big, right? Yeah. I had no, got, I, I, they were they fit, too big? No, 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 no. They Did fit, they have a little they, extra space? No, they fit well, but they're a nine and a half. So. Okay, that's what I'm, no, oh, I'm saying. The yeah. sizing, the size, but yeah. the sizing runs big on that shoe. Maybe. Right? That's or what maybe I'm actually have that so, small of a foot. I doubt it. I mean, you know shoes. <laughs> it, oh, sorry. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> it is. It's very hot in here. Let me, okay, hold on. Is Nelly going to show up? <laughs> no. Oh, shit. Sorry. Don't worry. We'll keep all this. One second. I'll just. You're putting the Pelly Pelly on the ground? It's on the it's on the rug. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's like this. So you said that those shoes you think hypothetically may run bigger, your yeah. foot may be smaller than you think it is. <laughs> Kerwin, I had um got in a pair of the micro bounce that you did. Yeah. From an agency and they had sent it in a size eleven and I wanted to wear them and I was super disappointed because they ran like a whole size up too small. Oh uh, yeah, they did fit. Yeah, they were like that. And they were like, "How do you like the shoes?" And I was like, "I think I was like, I really love Kerwin. Yeah, the shoes look great." That. But I was like, "But someone at the company just that's and very I, kind." And of I feel like I had to say this to Adidas because they're asking you how you like the shoe, and I'm like, "Someone along yeah. the way just made it the." And I know that there's nothing that you do. No, no, no. Yeah, is that like frustrating to any degree? Where it's like you like maybe like put all your time in to like make a shoe and then like the brand behind the scenes like can't get the fit they right were trying it. things they were yeah. just trying things I, I i feel like i i get there sometimes and i was like ah it's all right you gotta just that's just what it was water under the bridge 
it's kind of ironic though because my first shoe was like a so big it was a big shoe <laughs> that was supposed to be we thought that's what you wanted foot. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> use some more room in there also let those hoes breathe you <laughs> you had tim robinson in the campaign for that yes. shoe yeah that's incredible so good thank you that yes. just how uh, and tell me everything about what he's like in real life i'm the biggest fan are you serious yeah wow he, he's amazing he's exactly there's like a couple people who i've met who are like just one-to-one -one, kind of how you would imagine i feel mm. like Tim and Mac DeMarco, who were in there, mm. they're very mm. much themselves. Oh, I love Tim so much. I talk to him all the time. Beautiful. Yeah, and I'm doing uh, I'm doing the merch for his tour. Oh, wow. nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah, his first merch. I remember you said that for the Superstar, you got an actual size 22 off eBay. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. tough was it to find a size 22? It wasn't, it wasn't super tough. There just wasn't a lot of pairs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how... Big were you on like eBay throughout the years, and and do you still like scour for still, like old yeah. references? It's like, it's, what are it's, some of the things you pulled from there at the time? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was mostly like like Jeremy Scott, Missy Elliott. Yeah, Jeremy Scott, Missy Elliott stuff, really the yeah. most, honestly. And then uh, like Kobe twos. Mm. You still on eBay heavy? I am, but I, I've been into um, I've been into cassettes and boomboxes a lot lately. Okay. Really, I don't like not to be like a like a, you know what I mean? But it's like. There's something about like physical music that of feels course. so personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a CD, you don't even have to go to cassette. If you put in a CD, it just feels like you're listening to like a like a journal entry or something. Mm -hmm. It's very personal. If you if you have headphones and it's just the one album. Some Do you have a CD player? What do you have? You have like a Discman? Yeah, like a Walkman CD player. Yeah. 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 Uh, speaking of rare collectible stuff, I don't know why it's like popped in my head and I'm still laughing about this. When you did the Christmas with the Kardashians. Yeah. Classic video did you went up to alex rodriguez and asked him to sign a baseball yeah right? i did yeah yeah i don't know what it's like just like what's like absurd <laughs> did he do it huh? he i it? think he got he got did he get like mad or no no he did it uh i had to ask j-lo to sign a, a copy of selena and she's like i'm not signing that. <laughs> <laughs> no we had gotten the kim Schraub had sent us the guest list and we had maybe like five hours before that party um so i, I went to amoeba and I was like, okay, let's let's oh, like nice. as much yeah. memorabilia as you could get. Well, I was I was trying to like like I, I it was doing that, and then I was like, it was like to cross gift. Yeah. So it was like get like a Paris Hilton album and give it to to Caitlyn Jenner or like you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Get like Dave Chappelle to sign his DVD and give it to Kathy Griffin. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Switching <laughs> the gifts. I gave like Kylie Jenner like the 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 John Legend Christmas album <laughs> signed, <laughs> <laughs> but he just signed it. <laughs> You've, that was fun. you've really lived a life, man. I have. Yeah. Do you like That's being in LA? Um, is LA good? LA is okay. Yeah. LA is okay. I, I'm a city boy for sure. When you're back in New York, do you like walk Soho and stuff like the old days? And like, what, oh, what have you seen oh. this trip pass back in the day on your come up? You guys were like just running around. It's eerie. I got like the chills going to Soho. It's like a. But I, I always I always put myself through it. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, all right, let me go one time. But it's yeah, it's sweet. It feels like, good. Yeah, it, it feels good. Yeah, I feel like there's kids now doing like, like I don't know stuff. I think is cool. So and it's it's nice it's nice seeing it like I don't know in its new kind of form. I would say it's a lot more packed than it used to be. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. There there is something very emotional about so that I love. Mm -hmm. That's like. We were all there. Do you feel like a you know like a, some a kid like driving past like his old high school and just yeah, being like, oh, no, I one, remember the days. One hundred percent. You're just looking at these fucking um at these stores. <laughs> like you're saying that about these like big stores. Yeah, back yeah, yeah. Feels like a yeah. high school. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what used to be in this store. This yeah, is where no, Files was. Literally, yeah. No, I cringe when I say that though. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> yeah. How tapped in with sneakers are you currently? Do you do you love sneakers? Do you think about sneakers a lot? I feel like every time I see you, you have some absurd footwear on, which I love. I'm yeah. just. Do you keep up with what's happening every week? Um, a little bit. Yeah, I like tap in, but I, I wouldn't say I'm. I mean, what, what do you guys think about like kind of? I guess the the new because it's a new day. I think about a couple of things. Like, do you guys still believe in like? the sneaker story like when we were younger or whatever yeah. Yeah. or if you think about like the pigeon story that lasted like 20 years mm -hmm. yeah you know what i mean like do you do you guys believe that that still exists in today's world with so much 
coming out in every direction it being so i think it's well way together. harder for those that's stories what i'm saying really... yeah so i think that makes it that yeah. makes it hard and do. also i feel like the stories that we get now or the stories that really connect are the negative ones like the sneakers yes. we remember now are more often the infamous ones that yeah. went wrong i mean i guess you could use that word to describe the pigeon dunk thing to an extent because it was like people had but, weapons and stuff but... but i think even like to tie back to your soho story i think it's just different now because when you're younger, everything just seems so much bigger and more important to you. Well, there was less. There was there was. But, but there, I mean, just yes. being just being like at a younger age, you're like yourself when you like go through like there's a big sneaker release. It yeah. just feels like a bigger moment in your life than at like this point. If like a big sneaker release happens like that, dude, it, it was just... an actual bigger moment in real life. There was no. There, I agree. There yeah. wasn't all these different pockets. Mm -hmm. It was like you had to literally get up, go to to this. Like, you know, I remember, uh, you know, last time we spoke about SneakerCon, I remember mm -hmm. like going to to this champs for Barris and then mm -hmm. going to 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 Jersey. And then yeah. go, like I was, you know, I was doing that as a kid and it was it was a very in-person thing. It was a very, oh, you have those. Now we're friends. It was that's not now. Like now, um, you know, I, I don't I don't see the story attaching as much, but I, I, I do think it does have something to do with. Blah blah blah. Social media. What's yeah. out yeah. there? It's harder to construct that story. When we were younger, too, it was easier to sell a story. Mm -hmm. And I think so many people have, have seen so much. So many collabs have, have existed. Now it's 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 so easy to get one, but uh, it, it's it's hard to it's kind of buy to into a, that. It's easy to get a sneaker collab. I wish I think to an point. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I, not, not not. I'm not saying with a deep with anyone. Like yeah. you're, you're able to do it, whether mm -hmm. it's Hoka or Puma or. Wherever you're going, it's it's possible if you work hard enough. You know what I mean? You said back in the day, you just talked about back in the day, like the releases. Do any stick out in that Soho era? Like that you and your, you woke up and like you and your friends were like, we have to get this. Any days that were like really you remember that were crazy releases? I remember like the the Black Cement Threes, of course. Okay, classic. Uh, uh, the Bordeaux for some reason when everybody really? liked those. And I was like, wow. No, I've, I've seen... You didn't like the Bordeaux 7s? I did like them at the time, yeah. but now I look at them now, I'm like, oh, I wouldn't wear that really? shoe ever. <laughs> yeah. That's that's always an interesting thing is going back and thinking about which sneakers you were brainwashed yeah. into liking it's because brain, everybody else saying. liked no, them. No, it was like an actual brainwashed thing, and now like kids... Kids are in, in in school wearing like Gucci reps. Like they're mm, like... I know, the it's reps. It's a whole different... Yeah. Yeah, so I, it makes it tough. So I think I'm a, I'm a big fan of storytelling. I feel like if it was still as intact i probably would come in more another thing that's like big if you go to um kind of like the the shoes that do get an arc it's like it's always going to be the jordan it's mm -hmm. always going to be like it's that that uh, at the top selling of like okay yeah. you know if you want to add to a story you have to touch literally whether it's sb you know blah 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 it goes down there's not you know yeah how do, how do you feel about yeezy pods i feel like that's a shoe that you have like I um opinion on. I like them. Yeah, I like yeah I like them. I because I, I I really like the uh, the uh, the, the Vibram uh, foot shoes a lot. Fo yeah. Foam runner. Uh huh. No. Oh wait, no. which no the five fingers. The five fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah, the five yeah, finger yeah. shoes. I was wearing those yesterday. <laughs> okay. It's not. Have you have you worn a shoe like that? No, I've never Any worn a five finger. Shoes? No. They're really. You feel like you're naked on the ground with a little. It, so it's I, nice. Dude. I had a That's question exactly about how those. I want to feel. It's really. Have it's, you ever yeah. seen people work out in those? I I do not. Cosine. No, but have you seen? You don't like them. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. It's like one of those things, just like mentally, I just can't. Like, I remember when they first came out, and it was always like the. I have a picture in my head of like a, a geography or like geology teacher at Rutgers <laughs> University who had the um the pants with the zip off yeah. at, at the knee. Yeah. With the five fingers on, and I'm I just like I can't. I love those. They're so disgusting. It's just something about they're I like, gnarly. I like that they're gnarly. Yeah. yeah, it's like I have a pair, and they're they're made. Of, they're uh they're the Sakai ones, and they're like leather. Yeah, and I just Ooh. bought them because like why do they have they have laces and they're leather? I'm like that's some freaky stuff. It's so freaky. leather between. But your toes. I um uh with Adidas, I had uh uh. They had the Rick Owens, uh, the, the they had like the the half knee, like yeah. the fur boots. Yeah. I used to wear those, and those had like just kind of like those two pods at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar yeah. setup. I think it depends how you're wearing them and who's wearing them and why they're wearing it. Like I think someone can look really silly in like a full. It, you could tell it's not them. It's like during the pandemic, I, I we did like this show called Sneaker Stories, and it's like you basically like five categories, and one of them was like, "What's your most regrettable purchase?" in like sneakers and a lot of people were like not that i regret it but one that i wouldn't wear right now balenciaga triple s and i know that you put the balenciaga triple s as like an iconic sneaker what did that mean to you and like do you it's looked back as like 
people look down on it. But what talk about like that moment? I, I feel like you have reverence for that. I I mean, look, I think if you zoom out and you take away the noise, it was it was it it was an iconic shoe. Mm. It just accessibility got crazy. I don't know. It, I wouldn't wear it today mm -hmm. for the like. It's the same. I mean, we're all convinced to hate it now but it was at the time there wasn't a shoe that was like it was like a bulldozer on your foot right can you get this much weight and and, and whiff like in a shoe it was like and it felt like it was like stacked on a sole yeah like, it was like that was a weird shoe did you ever contemplate it at all i couldn't do it but also no. I, I I wouldn't be mad that at anybody first calling that shoe a classic. Yes. Like the, with Cla the red and the yes. blue and the green, that was a great color no, it, blocking. It definitely, I mean, it was when there was just one. When, uh, yeah. I think it was three. It was yeah, like yeah, that yeah. one, the green and yellow. When Threes, it was just those three, three S's. yeah, it was a, Tri the, They were they were triple. <laughs> I think when it got to the neons and the different yeah. colors, well, and I, then it became like you know the, like the scammers with the with the skinny jeans in them. <laughs> like it, it got killed, obviously. Yeah, well, I think that's like the tough part is like. Anyone who makes something that's like kind of interesting, there's like the artist's intent behind it. And then yeah. when you put it out into the world, how like the art or the sneaker gets interpreted. Yeah. And then it can totally just kill your perception of like one hundred percent. Yeah. What was your guys' take when you first saw the red boot? The mischief red boot. We were just talking about mischief. Before yeah, you we saw were, it on yeah. everyone. Before you saw it on everyone. Do you I, remember I, that feeling? I was like, I think I was impressed because I was too. It, it, yeah. it was at that point where they had done so many of the the copycat type sneakers at Mischief, and it felt like that was their playbook of yes. like, let's reference this thing, which I I do think was clever to an extent, but it was like, let's see something else. And then when I saw that, it was like, oh, they got another one. Yeah, this is going to be huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think disruption. They yeah. just disrupt. It's like it's the old adage of like, you know, you see it in so many marketing decks. Like we're going to disrupt things, and like their projects break through. Yeah, and. The thing about the red boot that was funny is I feel like in the beginning it was such like a memeable thing yeah. going viral, mm -hmm. but like the way that that joke lasted so long. Well, they like, milked it. They, they milked. They like, milked. It lasted so long, but um, you know, I think like those guys doing kind of. Out Do you of the think box. it could have been a different trajectory if they kind of gate kept the seating a little bit in the beginning, or like it was played out a little differently, or do you think it was meant? to kind of go in that direction. Because I remember seeing it at first and I was like, oh, this is, there's never been a shoe like this. Right. Ever. And they actually did a good job. Like it, but then like almost instantly, you just saw- It was it. rinsed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it was like- I each, can't even look at it. Each like viral moment you saw of it, there was like less and less return- Yes. On it, where it's like, okay, this From happened. the person who was it, wearing it to how they were wearing it to- Yeah. yeah. In, I thought it was like kind of cool at first, just because it was like an Astro Boy That's reference. Insane. You're an yeah. Astro Boy That's, fan. Yeah, I like literally. that. I like that. You know, yeah. I have that big Astro Boy that. Bait had uh, dude. If you yeah, saw those at was... Migos' house, yeah, that's Japan, cool. You would flip the fuck no, that's, out. That's salute the general. That's cool right to me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember saying though, I think that <laughs> I don't like fakes, but if you're gonna get a fake, get a fake of the big red boot, and like yeah. no one's gonna be able to know the difference behind it. Oh, uh, you just... don't have to get a fake of those now. They did like well, 18 re-releases. How, yeah. how funny did you, you? I'm sure you saw the things online of like the resellers who yeah. like bought like a thousand uh, pairs of them and, and they didn't realize that they're selling for under retail. Yeah, yeah. They didn't know they were gonna restock them. Yeah. So yeah, it's a dangerous Mitchell game. Mitch had to make that return. Did, did you have a pair of the Big Red Boots ever? I did have a pair. Yeah. I did do you ever I, talk to those guys? I, I do talk to those guys okay. sometimes, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're not, yeah. What yeah. did you think about the Crocs ones they did? The, the yellow ones? With the holes yeah. in them? That's yeah. where it died. I think it's, it's I don't know, uh, sometimes I'm with my daughter and I'll tell like a really funny joke and it's just like, dad, like do it again. And I'll do it one more time. And then she says, do it again. And I'm like, Waffle, it's only funny twice. Mm. You can only do it two times. And I feel like you can do the first small release and then you get one little tight squeeze for the subscribers. It's over. That's it. But this level of restraint is impossible for sneaker brands to practice, whether it's Mischief or a big brand. I think also if they're independent, it's even harder. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. sure Mischief probably like before then had built like this team and they were like, all right, we're going to do all this stuff. And But even a Nike or an Adidas, once they get that little taste. Nike keep... waits years though. Nike waits a long time. Sometimes, but I I, I just wish that Has shoes would be more it, controlled sometimes. Yeah, I always think this is, there's been more examples. The one that Nike that like, uh, I hated that they they went too far. The up tempo, yeah. The up tempo came back in the black and suede, and 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 then the Olympic, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna buy this one You're too. Into and, it, yeah. and then I just feel like a they went colorways. Yeah, too many colorways. That one. What do you think of one, the the cactus up tempos? Do you like those? Wait, those aren't out yet, right? The cactus up tempos. Hold yeah. on. Oh, the Air the Force, Air Force one. ones. The Air Force ones with the flea on the side. 
Love those. Yeah, yeah, you have. He's cool. got the custom the JLP. Oh, that's sick. I, I love, love the yeah, I love, I love the, the, the flea one. Yeah. Uh, I have the the black and yellow ones. Nice. And nice. then yeah, shoe surgeon made JLP and like which I that's fuck clean. with those heavy. Yeah. Cactus yeah. flea too. You were in a cactus. He loved flea those. Too. That was another that's like one. A perfect Kerwin frost yes. shoe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You had the little um the custom. Did you have the custom like? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah. She's like a. I mean Cynthia who runs cactus. She's. She's an OG. I, 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 she was the first person I called when I when I got McDonald's. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You talked to her a lot. Yeah, like in as as much. I try to give her space as much as possible. Yeah. And I'll just like jump in and we'll have like a quick convo. But like, yeah, we're it's yeah. Such a mysterious figure. Yeah, yeah. You kind of want her to have. It's that pretty too, awesome. So yeah. I, I, yeah. I like I, that. I appreciate when yeah. I get to. This is even a footwear moment. It's but it's a foot moment. So when you were doing your Kerwin Frost, is it Kerwin Frost talks? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, I don't know why I always go back to this. When you interviewed Post Malone, and he's <laughs> and, and he's he in knows, his house, he knows he's in his house and yeah. he's barefoot, and his feet are so <laughs> disgusting on the bottom. But I'm just he's sitting there like this, and you just see the bottom of yeah his feet the whole time. I don't know. It just he li- he. It get, I love Post. Yeah. It get, you know when you get like the ick from something, right? Yeah, it's a barefoot. Yeah. I mean, I feel it's like a- people are like, yeah, it's a barefoot. <laughs> He he lives um, it's like a compound in Utah. Yeah, right. So it's like outside, it's just like land and dirt, and he was just, he just walks barefoot, connected to the land. When we did that shit, I had just woken him up. Like I woke him up out of bed. Yeah, to do the end. I swear. <laughs> did to he God. know you were gonna be there? It seemed like he didn't. I'm like, like surprise. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yeah. a camera in his face. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no. I, I just yeah, I just. Yeah. One of my favorite ones was John Mayer. Height of the oh, wow. height of the pandemic. I felt like you guys had such a candid conversation. Like, Thank you. Yeah, I remember like not to get sentimental, being like I needed this conversation during this time. Wow, yeah, I love like, that. Not even not even That's gassing, sick. not even gassing, but like remember that it's like dropped at the right time, and you guys were super candid. And, Thank you. Yeah, I fucked with that one heavy. Yeah, that was crazy because that was the first we had spoken on Instagram a little bit and on text, and he's a, he's very mysterious as well. Yeah, but we rented out this like uh, diner, right? It was like a LA shoot space. Okay. Yeah. So it was like a fake diner and it was, it's in downtown LA. He just pulls up alone, no security, no team, just him DTLA. And, and while he's talking, I was trying to like interview him, but he kept doing like the John Mayer voice. I was like, wow, yeah. that's the, yeah. Yeah. He's sick. It was like, he was singing to you. I don't know. Like his mannerisms when he talks to do stuff, you know, it's so it's, cerebral. No, that's, that's yeah. We yes. had like artists on here and you just, like, every you time hear they it talk, in real life. you just yes. hear them like rapping and you're just yes. like, or like Buster Rhymes is like yeah. that. Or like, I don't know. There's a couple of people who have that. That's, Action Bronson's probably one of those too. Huh? That yeah, series sure. was just so, it's just so crazy to me because you were kind of like the streetwear Joe Rogan in some sense that you're doing it independently and you're getting all these big names to yeah. come and sit down with you. And it's like these things that like media companies like ourselves were like, Oh, I'd love to have Post Malone. I'd love to have ASAP Rocky. I'd love to have John Mayer. And then Kerwin just pops up <laughs> but, with but them. Like on. you're like your own kind of. Absolutely. To that point, the biggest thing he's getting people that no one got. That's what I Chief mean. Chief Keefe. <laughs> Chief Keefe. <laughs> Listen, well, you had, well, you how many times on had, sneaker had, shopping I thought one of my LA trips would get? John Mayer, of course, but yeah. And then yeah. Tyler, you went to the, co- like, saw yeah. all his converse, but yeah, totally agree with that. And you had Chief Keefe in the, in the Adidas, in the Adidas yeah, campaign. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was sick. I mean, it, it's crazy looking at it now because there's like, I guess like Bobby or like Funny Marco or, right. you know, there's so many other people doing kind of like the, yeah, it, it was, it, but it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't, it, people don't understand that normally because everyone has like a, like an agency or a booking yep. agent, yeah. but it was, it was legit like, Hey, I know you, you want to come over? Like, yeah, yeah. And, and you would have to, you would have to double back sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, come on, dude, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> please. Yeah. Like the, the, the Tyler one, we had shot one in New York and then we had to scrap it and then shoot it again in LA. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And like fly all the way back there to do it. It was, yeah, that's, I love doing that show though. It, 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 it the. I think there was a trust I was like blessed with mm-hmm. to get that they wouldn't give other people. And I tried to not kind of take advantage of it. Like yeah. I never did clip downs. Yep. You weren't trying to make a viral moment out of it. You're just like, here's the episode. I'm gonna Basically, let it, I'm gonna let it yeah. As it is. And then eventually like a, a rap log or something would like clip, clip a, something out of it. But I, I, I would always try to kind of be as respectful as possible. The title so, the creator. The, yeah, the I see that clip all the with time. The I'm like, all right, dude. So, <laughs> wait, what's the clip? What's the clip from that one? I don't the chairs, remember. right? Yeah. Uh, wait, the Isn't chairs. The chairs like going all over the place. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, uh, uh, like, uh, At some... ask me who inspires me again. Exactly. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. So, 
as it is now, what's the next project? Who are you working with? Are you continuing with McDonald's? What do you like have cooking up that you could share? Um, that I can share. Is Adidas still happening or no? Um, no. Okay. But I, I still love Adidas. Mm-hmm. Was that just like when you signed it? Was Everyone it... got the same deal. Like go to the the twenty, I think it was 2019, mm-hmm. 2020 class. If you look, it's it's literally Yara Shahidi, Ninja, Nakel Smith, Pharrell, Nigo. I was uh, in, Jonah Hill. In meetings at the time, they were talking about Jonah Hill. Like he was yeah. like the great white hope. It was, I'm not kidding. That was just such a weird one. Dude, it was like the Twilight Zone. Really? I was sitting I was sitting in an office and they're like, yeah, Jonah Hill is going to come it, and, and save the company. Wow. It was so weird because I remember at the time that like he became like a streetwear icon. Yeah. He was doing like Steve Jobs cosplay. Yeah, like the or he was Phoenix Sun shirt. The Phoenix <laughs> Phoenix Suns. Suns. Or he wore, he wore like the Lithuania. Yeah, like, or the uh, Dead & Co shirts. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. at that time, it was like he became super popular towards like that segment of like john's fashion yes. twitter you know yeah. that they loved him uh and he wore like the samba and stuff like yeah, that samba. and then all of a sudden yeah. he gets that samba and it just it just wasn't dude they great. were they were up in arms about jonah hill in there they were wow. they were like jonah's gonna take us there there was childish gambino yeah there was ivy park you know a lot of, they were they did it all at once and they gave everyone kind of like a three-year like make us you can go this is like in time like you yeah. can, they well, all made a superstar think, they all made a form i think it really Blondie. i think yeah. it yeah. just really speaks to sometimes sneaker brands think that just because so and so is like x big of a celebrity yeah that they think it's instantly going to translate to whatever yeah. but i will say though that i think that you prove it wrong because it's like okay Jonah Hill and Donald Glover are bigger celebrities than Kerwin Frost, right? right? Just right. like, it's just the reality of it. But your sneaker project is so much more well-received because you're so much more respected within the sneaker and creative space yeah, that it's that. like, Thank it's you. like the code that just putting this person X, this person equals right. this because they have X amount of Instagram followers, right, right. but it doesn't really translate like that all the time. I think what they, they could have done more is, uh, well, I don't know. With me, a lot of like a lot of what I've done is, is always kind of looked like it was like a team thing, and it would be one me and one other person. Yeah. And so any collaboration I've done, it's been very like personal and connected with mm-hmm. the brand. Like with McDonald's, it was uh, like me and Charles and like like forty people on their side, mm-hmm. and we would, and it took the entire year. Like I had to think about chicken nuggets the entire year. It was like <laughs> how many chicken nuggets did you eat in the process? So much, really? Like, give us an example. Like, dude, it's like just, 10, like, it's like you put in your ten thousand hours. What was the you biggest in, in one sitting? Nuggets. It's not the biggest in one sitting. It's just it's okay. more like how often. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, but, but it was okay. But 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 for Adidas, they they they, they weren't. They weren't necessarily trying to guide who they were bringing in who had never done it before mm. through the process to it. Whereas if you take a, you know, someone like maybe Jerry or Ye who could come in with like their own CADs and they have their own yeah. team that are like doing infrastructure you know, in place. Yeah, exactly. And I'm, I'm leaning on like the Portland team. They're like, all right, well, we got this. And I'm like, okay, that's not really working. And then I had to go to Germany and then it was like, but I didn't even go there. It was like, I'm on this during yeah, COVID. Right. So it was like, I, I think with Adidas, it's tough because you know, I'm not sitting here saying, oh, they were the best ideas. These were like my, probably my first ideas in the door within the first month. Mm-hmm. And then it was like three years of trying to like, I guess, like get it in the production hands of like putting it out. Um, with with McDonald's, what was amazing was kind of like the amount of creative understanding and like the, okay, we've never done this. Yeah. yeah. We're going to take your word for it. We're going to try it out. They had never done a shoe before. Right. And so uh, without like an Adidas or like a, Mm -hmm. so with them, it was even an odd concept and it took like eight months. Um, But it, it, it it was, it was like the trust and the, the, okay, these are our guidelines. This is kind of, it, it felt more free in that sense. So to like get it done, do you just have like a factory that you know that you know or something like that that you're like, hey, they're gonna manufacture this. I know the people Yeah, yeah. They gotta be licensed up and everything. They gotta be like official like the McDonald's that. shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Like yeah. Even for merch, like it was the same thing. Like it who's gonna develop the merch. You have to have like all these licenses and everything. Like it has to follow like the guideline that McDonald's would kind of go with. After doing your Adidas project, were there lessons that you took from it like you know, you'd been around the sneaker industry a lot. You you came up in New York and you knew people at brands, but Adidas was the first time you got the chance to actually make a shoe and put a shoe out. How much different was it than what you were anticipating? Are there things that you know now that help you do things differently? 
Um, yeah, it's, it's so many things. Uh, not in a bad way necessarily, but it's no. like, oh, I didn't know that this is how a sneaker gets made. Yeah, no, you wouldn't think you you wouldn't you wouldn't think how heavy like a team is behind a sneaker and kind of how long it actually takes to get it out there. I mean, if you look at even like the the uh, Jerry's Adidas shoe, that that took like like three four years. Yeah, yeah. Like, he he had gotten that maybe like a couple months after I came into Adidas. So that that was like it it, it, it takes it takes a long time, and it's yeah, I don't know. I carry it with me. Yeah, mm -hmm. but. Did yeah. you did you hit Jerry when you heard about the Adidas deal? Did you guys uh, have a conversation? He had hit me when he when before he had gotten there, and I connected him with uh, Jim and Fuso. Yeah, mm. on text about 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 because they were trying to get a hold of him, and then that that started chopping it up. But I, I yeah that that was kind of yeah I, I always reach out. I mean we all know each other. That's a thing. It's yeah. like I was a kid at the time. Yeah, but like we we all it, it, you know on Instagram it could look like we are we're all, all like on our own personal kind of like. Boat. On an island, yeah. yeah, on our own personal islands or whatever. But we all know each other. Like me and my, my daughter's going to go to the same school Jerry's daughters are in. You know, it's like yeah. it's it's very. We all is it is it weird to you that that I guess if you kind of look at it that way that like hanging out in Soho was like your college. Almost? I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. There was no way to know that, but it it fully was. It's crazy. It's been a long road. It has. Well, you go into sneaker stores now in Soho and like browse, or it's not not that dialed in in terms of like what you want to visit when you're here dude i, I, I yeah i gotta hit some sneakers yeah. yeah i feel like you do you i don't mean this in a bad way because i love some of the stuff you wear only you can wear it you got yeah. the wario hat on right it's now walter van beeren dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you ever wear like normal shoes like will you still throw on like a pair of uptowns i haven't worn air force ones yeah. what about so long what about like a jordan but i did i tried a pair of air force it, it felt like weird after really not yeah. so long yeah i was like whoa this was like the everyday shoe. air was, jordans ever yeah not not since i was like a teenager or wow. something. yeah yeah Again, I love it because yeah. some of the stuff you wear is so uniquely you, and yeah, and I like you have that license and, and, and different shoes. You see this whole stolen Yeezy Gap fiasco that's like unfolded <laughs> in <laughs> yeah, Los yeah. Angeles. <laughs> like Dove Charney was out there. But like, wasn't that sick? He got them to to actually seize it. I thought yeah. that was cool. That like he kind of came out like that was like very New Yorker. Like it's stolen. <laughs> I was right. really like, all right, it I is. Not Shut it down. On my bingo that was cool. card in twenty twenty four. Him huh? popping out. I said I did not have that on my bingo card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I guess he runs that. Was it the was it the Los Angeles Los Angeles Apparel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cancelled King. <laughs> Jeez, jeez. You ever worry about stuff like that happening though, with like the merchandise that you know that you or a sneaker collaborations that you produce that someone somewhere down the line is gonna like pilfer through it and steal it? Yeah, that? they should. Just go ahead. I, it's fine. <laughs> we'll take yeah. the headline. Yeah, yeah. We'll take. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. No, I think that's they're they're making it themselves. That's why that would happen, right? Yeah. Or does that happen a lot in like I mean everybody's obsessed now with like backdooring and like right, every right, every right. sneaker release people want to know like was it backdoor yeah. like what's the what's, what's how happening you, how many units got released to this shoe? I yeah, need to know where every true. single size went, you know? Right, 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 yeah. It's a classic though. What's a classic? The backdooring thing. I yeah. feel like so many sneaker companies like do backdooring as well. The the brands themselves. The brands themselves. Yeah. It's a they real do. thing. <laughs> it's all right. It's all part of the system. That's like a but if like resellers, it's like an ecosystem. If yeah. like resellers hit you up and they're like, "I need two thousand pairs of the Kerwin Adidas or whatever to like flip on the low," or you're like, "Okay, cool, like no, I'll make a deal." No, I didn't have that kind of. Con Who do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, <laughs> yeah. I didn't have that kind of deal, dude. <laughs> Feds over here. Yeah, no, I had to for for the for the second collection the. Where I had Tim Robinson and Mac, I had yeah. to I had to fund my own commercial. Wow! So I literally, which was so like unorthodox. It looked expensive. Yeah, it was like a hundred, a hundred and sixty k. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. They weren't they weren't the gonna stomp style ad. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was and and every artist like did it for for like almost free. Honestly, RXK were, nephew. All of them, and it was for Adidas, and it they were just kind of like supporting the my vision or whatever. But it it it, it was, I I literally would pay for my own commercial just to make it that great it was with adidas it was it was always that it was kind of like you know with the first article i had with gq i had to like personally call will welch and say yeah please could we run these like mm. and is, that's, it, that's is, what it, was. is it ever hard to do like spending your own money like that and knowing that it's an investment in your business and yourself and it'll come back in some way but still putting down six figures for an ad yeah it is because you you work with a McDonald's and then there's like, no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> like, I don't know. But at the same time, they saw that 
and 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 it definitely love right. that yeah. and it worked. Yeah. yeah, I think you should do it. Your I think you should do portfolio. it if you can. I think people. I, I I think it makes it better. I think if you, if you don't do that and it's and it's just taking care of you from the beginning to end, you kind of don't get to find out what it is to work hand in hand with the director, the producer, uh, book the talent. I love booking talent. It it it, it reminds me. It, it makes me feel like uh, like Will Smith in, in Pursuit of Happiness, yeah. where he's going door to door with yeah. the time machine. Yeah, I never That's, actually watched that one. It's a good movie. Yeah, but it's like minor Will Smith, right? It's not like no, it's a good movie. It's, you think you put it in top tier of Will Smith's catalog? What would you put in top tier? Bad Boys, um, Men in Black, okay, Independence, Independence Day. Day. Those are like bro movies. Hitch? <laughs> Wait, would you put Hitch? Would you Hitch put... over Pursuit of Happiness? Wait, Hitch. You guys have no soul. Hitch goes so hard though. <laughs> Hitch, dude. Hitch. I love Hitch. Hitch, Hitch was a... of the time. Hitch is like Hitch a bootleg DVD movie. Bad Boys. Too, right? Bad Boys. Off the of off the soundtrack at least. What I feel I like missing? you would would you like Bad Boy? Yeah. 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 Men in Black. I like is, Hitch too. Men in Black Wait, is absolutely. Do you put I Robot over Pursuit of Happiness? I never watched I Robot, but Pursuit mm, of Happiness too. is a good. There's not that many father son movies. This is yeah. a young Jaden Smith. Mm -hmm. Okay, he, it's a great movie. Yeah, about this. You didn't watch it. You've never seen it. Tomorrow, it's like so? the, isn't, yeah. it like the, isn't it like the scene in the beginning? I Robot, where he has like the last ever pair of Chuck Taylors, and he like opens it oh, up. Oh wow! Is there a sneaker scene in I Robot? Yeah, I didn't know wow. that. I need to, it's I like to somewhere in dystopian future, and he just like cracks open a fresh pair of Chucks, and it's like the last like wow. ones on Earth. Mm. Pulling it all together. You mentioned it being a bro movie right yeah and, and you've talked about how much soho's changed and it feels like the archetype of like the cool soho young kid hanging out is now like the financial like mulberry down mm, bro i don't think so you don't think that i think there's tears now yeah i, I mean you're Denim talking about tears? that that's that's always been there there has been before i mean okay so like even like dating back to adidas like for them, it was it was even weird having someone like me because the the person they wanted was more like a like a Kif superhero, you know what I mean? It was like like someone who panders to that. It was like like you know go green or like you know what I mean? Like very what is go green? Like you know like the Sean Witherspoon vibe where okay it's like, yeah 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 okay go green like gotcha. environmental like, like Jonah Hill. Jonah was he going for that? No, but I mean that kind of feels yeah yeah like yeah, yeah yeah like super crusty, straight adjacent. yeah yeah exactly yeah. exactly so. I, I, there's always been tears of that. I, I so definitely has its own kids now that are like on like a million different things at once. Uh, that that person has always existed though. Kiff Kiff was there yeah. for years, and mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, that other brand, uh, Andre uh, Ame Leandor. Yeah, Ame Leandor. Th there you go. That's a Kiff superhero's dream. You know what yeah. I mean? That's so. Those those have always worked. Uh, does that make sense? I yeah. feel like it's always existed. I, I can see the vision. We didn't talk about the Ed Banger Air Force Ones. One, these are one of my favorites of all time. This is one of my favorite shoes as well. You yeah, had a pair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went crazy. I, the I, busy like, peas? The did busy peas. Did you cook them? So, one yeah, of my I favorites did. of all yeah, time. Yeah, you know, time, that's yeah. how you know he's excited. He just got up out of his seat. An incredible shoe. Look at for the thumbnail. This is the YouTube yeah. thumb. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is a great shoe. What a great shoe. This is true. Also, big justice right, fan. Yeah, while I'm up, huh? while I'm up at the time, yeah, I found out about those and then started listening to, to Ed Banger. What actually. size do you think this is? You would know if <laughs> Joe's you would on, know. Joe's on his sneaker shopping would know, mode you right would know now. If you would know, what size do you think that is? Twenty three. <laughs> Is it 22? 22. Back in the 22. Line. Oh, shit. That's why I bought it. That was, well that was the sample yeah. of eBay, right? <laughs> 22. I thought maybe he'd recognize it. I'll be back here. Wow. <laughs> Real history. All right. Yeah, let me. Okay. Listen, always fun. Like when you took designer sneaker shopping? <laughs> classic. <laughs> a classic. <laughs> when he took designer sneaker yeah, shopping? Yeah, it was a classic. What happened in that episode? Classic. He tries to reach for the. the it was classic, Steven Victor. It was wow. classic. Joe, do you think that. Like high end sneakers now cross over to, or like ever having those on the sneaker shopping show kind of blend it in, or do you think they're even like in the to. same world or they're rubbing I shoulders? Um, I don't know if this is like exactly the the lineage you're talking about, but Prada America's Cup. Yeah, he's been heavy myself, on that right oh, now. Wow. Yeah, I I did. Well, did you? Take I, I couldn't, but I I like thought to myself like, what if I just start wearing like just only America's Cup for like a month mm. different colors just to let people some know what time it is some guests favor yes exactly some guests favor well, you took, hot, uh, Wayne Future Future did Barney's wow. Wayne did Neiman Marcus maybe in mm. Miami okay. but but because he only wore like high end sneakers uh. so it is creeping in do you but, think it touches the same world sir or there's no. still a huge separation I don't we're think still it, years away from that I feel like luxury designers just like I'm going in I'm buying like 
But they're just not what they used to. So like before, it was like you get a pair of whatever, like studded Giuseppe shoes. Yeah, like yes. Even Wait. Balenciaga had the arenas. Yes, Wait, Balenciaga and those never... arenas. Classic. Yeah. Wait, but yeah. Where, 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 do you, where do you where do you see like the line between? You know, sometimes we're talking about you you like stepping out in like crazy boots and all that sort yeah. of stuff, and. You, when you wear it, it comes across as like you're putting people onto something new, right? And I, then, I never feel like that. Oh, uh, well, I, f I feel that yeah. way. But oh, damn! You taught me about the Wario hat. But it's, but we're talking about you said Wayne, and then like someone like Wayne that like shows up in like moon, the Moon Boots, right, right, yeah. right, right, on the right, thing where some yeah. people in their mind might be like, oh, that's kind of like a Kerwin sort of move, right, but right, kind right, of not right, really. Yeah, do, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. see like different levels to just wearing something wonky out and like being really thoughtful about picking out something that just looks different, but it may seem a little out there to like the masses that's true i guess there is still a separation for it. it it i don't know i think that's my only kind of question on the sneaker culture and and the direction of the fans of it is kind of like how much are we to accept you know in order to come into a new fucking stage yeah dude, it's the been next enough. chapter like, yeah, yeah yeah we've been like idolizing and praising the same shoe design Talk and styles it. and it's yeah. like you guys got to accept something, you know, it's yeah. like, it's very conservative to, to what has been cool, what has been brainwashed to be cool over time. And even back then, it's like, it's, it's a new day. And, and I think those, like I said, like those were the old designer shoes and yeah. now designer shoes. Now they, they do look more like sneakers and yes. they are more like going that. So I, I, it's just something I think about. It's interesting too, that those designer brands didn't always have sneakers as a category. Yeah, they didn't yeah, look to them as a, as a part of their business. And now I feel it like- It was almost like, oh, we're into high fashion. We don't wear sneakers. Yeah, yeah, no, right. fully, fully. If you think uh, like Salehi at uh, Versace and uh, yeah. what yeah. he was doing, yeah. just introducing them into adding like this like big soul to like- Totally. They would never do that. It was chain like, reactions. Yeah, chain reactions. That was a big That's moment. True. It was. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Two yeah. chains That's true, Salehi. that's true. Listen, can't thank you enough. Thanks for having me, boys. Yes, always fun. Can't wait to see what's next. Always know that something's cooking. Yeah. Right? Yes. All right, everyone. <laughs> this has been the Complex Sneakers Show. We hope everyone has a great weekend. Please like, subscribe. We will see you next week. Cheers.